Indeni Petroleum Refinery is on a 21-day shutdown which started on the 8th of October 2012 for maintenance. This is the shortest shutdown, but some stakeholders have anxieties that there may be a shortage of fuel in some areas. Now, to assure the nation that there will be no such shortage, Tazama Petroleum Products Limited says it has sufficient stocks to supply for the entire period that Indeni will remain shut down. Tazama's general manager, Patrick Musenyesa, disclosed this when Minister of Mines, Energy and Water Development, Yamfa Mukanga, visited the terminal to ensure that there certainly was enough storage of fuel. We should be able to any problem on, uh, on diesel. With regard to the stocks of petrol, at the beginning of the shutdown we had 28 days, which is uh, more than enough to cover the, the shutdown. Uh, and, as we, and as of today, we've, when we lost a day, we are on 27 stock days. So we are sufficiently covered. That is the situation with kerosene as well. We have. Um, over 40 days of stock for kerosene. On Jet A1, Jet A1 we only have five days stock. However, the major customers, the major customers for Jet, Spuma, Total, and Spectra, uh, have been allowed to import. So we think that even on the that product, yeah, and during a familiarization tour of Indeni Petroleum Refinery, the energy minister has noted that there is still much gap in the industry, thus calling on potential investors. What we want now is to give the people of Zambia the benefit, so that at least we produce enough energy in order for us to stop what shedding. So if somebody comes and says, I want to invest in a, in a, in a plant, like an HF, HF4 uh, plant, HF4 plant, who we'll accept, who we'll need more plants. If anything, we're calling on anybody with a lot of investment who would want to invest in Zambia in terms of, uh, in terms of renewable, new and renewable energy. The energy minister also visited Ndola Energy, a company currently constructing a plant that will be generating electricity using heavy fuel oil. Mwakana Fukwe, Movie TV News, Ndola.